All right. Oh, hit marker! Bro! Guys, I got two hit markers in the row, and then I got the... Okay. Okay. Look at this dummy. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, wait. There's something right here. Right? Oh crap, bro. Oh fucking jackass. You know that? Hush. Hi everybody, it's John here, and I am back with another Mother Warfare video, and today we are going to be checking out the new Trencher Blueprint for the Bruin MK9, and the new Excavator Blueprint for the Model 680 from the new Velikin Operator Bundle. Holy crap, I almost ran out of breath right there, I'm not going to lie, that was a pretty long intro, but as you guys can see, these are the two new blueprints, this is the Trencher Blueprint for the Bruin MK9, and this is the Excavator Blueprint for the Model 680, both of these are legendaries, meaning that they both come with five attachments. So the Trencher has the XRK Summit 26.8 inch barrel, the TAC laser, the Corp Combat Hollow Sight Optic, the Bipod Underbarrel, and the Frangible Wounding Perk. And then for the Excavator, we have the Breacher Device Muzzle, the XRK 14 inch SWAT Barrel, the 5 milliwatt Laser, the Forge Attack Ultralight Stock, and the Slide of Hand Perk. As you guys can see, both of these blueprints are very similar in terms of design. I mean, this one right here, this is the Bruin or the Trencher. Look at that, it looks pretty nice. And then we have the Excavator, which that looks very similar to the Bruin's blueprint as well. And it kind of fits Velikin theme which this is a new operator right here and he looks like a complete badass not to mention both of these blueprints fire white tracer rounds so that is always nice real quickly for those of you guys that may be wondering in order to obtain these two new blueprints you have to purchase the velican operator bundle that is currently available in the store for 2400 cop points and unfortunately i am not able to view it right now since i already purchased it but luckily i was able to take a screenshot after i purchased it so let me just go ahead and put up the screenshot right now so with with this bundle you're gonna get 10 new items which are Megalith which is a new Velican skin, Trencher the new Bruin MK9 blueprint, Excavator the new Model 680 blueprint, Evil Intentions a Velican quip, Mars a new vehicle horn, Take a Bow a Velican finishing move, Sullen a new vehicle skin, Masked Out a new weapon charm, Shadow Dweller a new calling card, and Pay and Blood a new spray. Anyways guys without further ado let's go ahead and get into a matchup season 5 mosh pit and I am honestly high to use these new blueprints they look pretty sick they have white tracer rounds and i'm also rocking out the new operators so pretty hype let's get into it and see what we can do Alrighty, guys here we are in the match here on condor hideout for crank here we got the trencher blueprint and then we got the what is it the uh, excavator blueprint both looking very nice and okay take a c homie i think my favorite one right now is probably the excavator one this one's actually really clean look at that looks pretty cool like when um when you're in the shade or something or when the sun hits it Looks pretty nice, so yeah, let's get it, guys. What up, homie? Whoa! Oh, I did not know there was two of them right there. Okay, uh, wow, this is going to be very tricky because, um, this is Crank, not a TDM. We gotta rush, which it's not a problem at all, obviously, but my only issue is that sometimes whenever you are rushing, for some reason, you're not able to find enemies because the map is slightly bigger than other maps like Shoe House or Shipment, so... Yeah, it, sometimes you even have trouble finding enemies on Shoe House, which is crazy. Imagine a map like this big. <laughs> yeah, it's just horrible. Thank the Lord for that enemy, man. Honestly, I if he didn't come through, I would have died. Uh oh. Okay, I got a reload. Bruh. Ooh, dude. Ooh, all right. He almost got me there. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, uh. Where are the enemies spawning? Are they right here? Okay, I don't even wanna... I really don't wanna peek it right now. Oh, there you go. Well, let's get down because, yeah. Spawns are just so weird, guys, honestly. Spawns are pretty much weird on every map. Like, Shipman, Shoe House, Condor Hideout, just... I don't know, man. Except for maybe... I don't even know one map doesn't have horrible spawns because most of them, they're just so jacked up. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's, uh... Get a claymore ready because now I know there's one that wants to come through right here. So if you want to come through, be my guest, bro. Got a little nice surprise waiting for you that hopefully will kill you. And you are dead as well. Thank you for the UAV. <laughs> what up, homie? Whoa. Oh, I got a reload. 
the regular reload. Holy crap, dude. I would have wiped them all out if I didn't have to reload. Come on, reload. There you go. All right. All right, bro. Come out, please. Come out. Uh, I want you to give me a second chance. I'm killing you. Okay, looks like my teammates really took care of him. Oh, bro. I'm done, man. These guys are getting smacked. Whoa, okay, that was an assist, but at least I reset my timer. How did he know I was there, though? That man jumped as if he actually knew my location, like my location live. It was weird. Dude, why are you not? Okay, all right. Oh, hit marker. Bro, guys, I got two hit markers in a row, and then I got the... Okay, if I got three hit markers right there, I would have probably called it quits right there. Oh, another hit marker. Dude, oh, I'm done. I'm done, bro, no way. Dude, am I gonna... Thank you, no hit marker, please. Yo, 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 run. Holy crap, guys. What is up with these hit markers, though? Uh-oh, my crank timer. No, 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 no. No, I need a refresh. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Good, very good, very good. Oh, crap, there's somebody throwing... Woo! Bruh. Bro, you're not gonna beat me right there. <laughs> this man. Oh, my goodness. He's just trying to camp it now. He's trying to do my, my technique and wait right there for enemies. Okay, y'all. Uh... Uh oh dude we need a uab asap man oh my goodness another thing i hate whenever we have no uabs up it's annoying you have no intel on where enemies could possibly be at and they got a uab great no problem no problem man oh my goodness bro sit down Ooh, uh, yo bro that man <laughs> oh damn oh man this shotgun bro even though it made him marker a little bit can be a lot of fun when you get those one-shot kills. Oh, man. And I know for a fact these guys are getting pissed off. All right. Take a seat. Anybody else want to take a seat from long range? Be my guest. Come on, bro. Pop out. That's another great thing, guys. This blueprint, the attachments that it comes with is not bad. Or they are not bad for long range engagements. And there's an example. I mean, look at that. I literally just melted this dude like nothing. Uh-oh. Don't tell me they're spawning back here. Okay, we're good. And there you guys have it. That is a victory gameplay. As soon as my crank timer was about to run out and blow me up, we win. That's good. All right, 22 kills, guys. Um, wonder how many deaths I got. I'm pretty sure I got less than 10 without a doubt. I did not die that many times. It was a pretty good game. And we got a good amount of kills with this, um, what is it, the trencher. And 22 and 4, 5.5 KD ratio. You know what? I'll take it. Alrighty, guys. Here we are. Another match on Condor Hideout for Cranked again. Wow. Cranked again. Okay. Well, this is going to be round two on um, Condor Hideout for Cranked. And, whoa. Okay. I don't even know what my team is doing right there. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. That man had an MG34. Whoa. Bro. Oh, my goodness. Okay. If it wasn't for this teammate's UAV, I would have no type of intel. There you go. <laughs> you guys really love to camp, man. I swear. Yo, okay, bro. That's like... How many times did I kill somebody up there already? Oh, my goodness, man. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess that's the sweet spot for them. They love to just camp up there and do nothing. So... No, no, no. There he is again. Oh, my goodness, guys. All right. Um, I bet you there's one up there as well. Okay. You know what? This shotgun is not good at all from medium range or far range. At least for a shotgun, guys. It isn't. I mean, you guys saw that? Two hit markers. And it took, yeah, three shots to kill an enemy with it. So, not good at all from long range, medium range. But close range, obviously, is still pretty viable. It's not bad. Whoa. Whoa. And take a seat, homie. What? Bro. Bro. Oh, that didn't even hit him. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even shoot. Oh crap. I didn't even shoot within his range and that was still a kill. Alright, I'll take it. I mean, he was a one shot. Uh oh, my timer! No, teammate! Okay, I am going to die because, yeah, there's a time. Bro. Alright, guys, I kind of wish we got a team deathmatch, not cranked again because I like cranked. Don't get me wrong. It's one of the best modes here on Modern Warfare because it encourages a lot of rushing, which is obviously very good, but. I don't know, man. It's just on bigger maps, it's, it can be pretty annoying. I mean, look at that. Look at this dummy. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, wait. There's something right here, right? Oh crap. Bruh. Sit down. Oh, he's one of those jump shotters. Right, I don't want to deal with that. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, 
Oh, what the hell? All right, we need a UAV ASAP. I need to know where these guys are at. Oh, there you go. Okay, wow, they're all still over there. So I'm about to just camp it right here because uh, I guess they love to camp as well. So we'll camp. Oh, my. Okay, at least it, re it refreshed my timer. But, bro, really? Oh, damn. That man's brains went flying all over the damn wall. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put a claymore right here. Oh, there's somebody down here as well. Okay, uh. Oh, this is foul, dude. Oh, okay, nice team. Whoa. Bro, those water containers, you lucky bastard. Nah, where are you going, homie? You ain't going nowhere. Woo! Alright. Oh, my goodness. Alright, let's get a team. That's how we do it. Oh, we're about to win? Wait, hold up. No way. That was actually pretty quick. Hold up. One more kill. One more kill. May I please get it? Bet. Okay. I'm not going to get it, but... There you guys have victory gameplay, 14 kills. Um, not as good as I expect. Well, not as many kills as I expect. I was hoping for a little bit more, but that's another thing about crank matches. They go pretty fast. You don't even realize it. Like, I didn't even know we were already at 149. All right. At least we won and beat them by a lot. Eh? Yeah, they got totally smacked. 14 and 5, 2.8 KD ratio. I'll take it. All right. One of these guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time whenever I upload. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about the trencher blueprint for the Bruin MK9 and the excavator blueprint for the Model 680. Did you guys think these blueprints were pretty nice, pretty ugly, pretty cool, pretty unique? Anything, let me know. Personal Personally, I thought they were aesthetically nice, but in terms of being able to do some work, the trencher, aka the Bruins blueprint, was pretty good. It wasn't that bad. And um, even though we don't have the best muzzle, which is the monolithic suppressor, you're able to put in a good amount of work since you have the XRK 726.8 inch uh, barrel, which is the best and longest barrel, which will give you a lot of advantage from far range engagement. So, yeah, the Bruin is pretty good. This right here is not bad at all. I would make a few adjustments to it, like maybe take off the bipod and put on the monolithic suppressor. And instead of the frangible winning perk, I'll probably put on um, the 60 round massive rush with it a little bit more. But overall, this class was not bad. But the excavator, the model 680, this one is okay from close range, but from medium to far range, not good at all. I mean, you guys saw what happened. I got three shots on an enemy and the third one finally killed him two hit markers and the third shot finally killed him so yeah this shotgun i wouldn't rely on it too much um if you guys are going to get some kills from long range with a shotgun and as always you could change the class up a little bit but all i'm saying is that if you're gonna use it the original way with the pre breacher device the xrk 14 inch swat barrel and all that yeah, it's not going to be very good from long range or medium range. So, yeah, just be aware about that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get back on the grind. So, for the last time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done any, make sure to drop a like. And hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Wednesday. And with all that being said, it's been John. Ready to get back on the grind and use these blueprints even more. But make a few adjustments. And I'm out. Peace.